Hi, my name is Jason Spangler. I sell memorabilia on eBay as Santee Swapper. Today what I'd like to do is I have an unboxing video. I just recently got this box of Boy Scout patches in the mail. I believe it contains council shoulder patches, what we call CSPs. I haven't opened the box yet. I wanted to do that right here and just show everybody what the collection has and then I'll be offering it up for sale. So let's cut into this box and see what I can find. Now anytime you open up a box with Boy Scout patches in it, it's appropriate to use your Boy Scout pocket knife. So I'll do that. Slice open this puppy and see what's inside. As I said, this is a gentleman that I have bought a few boxes from before and it's always a little bit of a surprise what this guy has. Most of the patches in here should be about 30, maybe 40 years old. All right, a little letter from this gentleman. So let's just see what we've got. We'll kind of go through here and I'll show you. And as I said earlier, all of these patches are going to be available for sale or for trade. So if you see anything you're interested in, let me know. This guy was a scouter. He was involved for uh, many years, a scoutmaster, but he was also a patch collector. And so like a lot of patch collectors back in the 70s, he dabbled with council strips picked up a lot of council strips as you can see. Now he was located in the south and so as I can see here a lot of these are councils that are located in the south but not all of them. Here's Puerto Rico, direct service, uh, Aloha Council out in Hawaii so it's not just southern stuff here, a little bit of everything. I imagine some of these, a the canal zone, are a little bit better than others. Good number of these, although not all of them appear to be cloth back. Several of them do appear to be cloth back, which would again match up with that 1970s dating that I've got. I think this guy, his scouting did go into the early 80s. I think probably around 1982 is when he sort of finished out his scouting career. Sometime around 82 or 83 is when he wrapped it up. And so these things have been sitting in these protective sheets for years and years. All together in this collection, there are 300 of these council shoulder patches. That's what the gentleman told me in the letter that I just read. And so there's a lot of stuff in here all over. At one time, there may have been, oh, I don't know, six, 700 different Boy Scout councils. Probably by the 1980s, that number was down to maybe, I don't know, 400 councils. And today, there's a little over 300 different Boy Scout councils scattered across the country. As they merge and combine, there's less and less of them. So a lot of these council shoulder patches are ones that have been merged and they're no longer in existence. Some of these councils uh, don't exist anymore. They've been merged away. And so that's pretty cool. I will confess, I myself am not a super duper collector of shoulder patches although I do have all the resource books. So what I'll do probably is take these and kind of look at them in the resource guide. Like here's one from 1985, I can spot that. I'll look at these in the resource guide and kind of get an idea of what I've got. If there's certain ones that I think might be extra special, I can look them up in the guide and see. We got the Twin Towers from the Central New York Councils. That was a pre fleur de -lis from the 70s, I believe in the back. Man, this is a lot of patches here. There's the whole set of those guys with the fleur de -lis, the whole Greater New York Council set. Good stuff here. That Supposedly that's a good one, although those have popped up a little bit more. There's the old Central South Carolina Council. I know that merged, uh, they changed the name back in 1977 to Indian Waters Council. So that one's got a few a bit of age on it. And then here's the last sheet. So there you go. This represents a collection with 300 CSPs in it. It'd be a great starter collection for anybody who is interested in getting involved, getting into that. If you have, uh, you're looking for trading patches or whatever, um, I'm going to be willing to sell this collection as a whole where I don't even have to take a patch out. I'll just put it back in this box and I'll uh, put your name on this box and mail it out to you. Or if that doesn't work, I will piece it out and sell the patches individually. So hope you enjoyed this little tour of these council shoulder patches. 
Uh, as you probably know, council shoulder patches are really neat because they represent the history and tell a story. So this one, for example, Denver, that's the flag of Colorado in the background, Rocky Mountains, etc. You know, you can sort of look at these, and they all have sort of represent this Blue Ridge um, Council in South Carolina with Cherokee Indian in the mountains in the background. They sort of represent their council, so they're beautiful designs, great patches, uh, very collectible. Thanks very much for watching, and I'll have another unboxing video real soon.